Hey, what's up, guys? This is Superdell, and I hope your day is going well. Now, I'm about to do this short video. I do want to let everyone know these are options that you can use on the TiVo Stream 4K device. I think this is this is something that everyone who owns this device should know. I'm not going to go over everything, but I'm going to go over some important um, settings that you should know where they are just in case you run into any issues. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna make this screen, my screen a lot bigger. So let me go to option four and I'm going to drop my screen size down. So let's do that right away. And I'm gonna probably go over here to the left, all right? Let me put myself right there, click off of there. All right, so a lot of this is going to happen right here in the settings. Uh, these are, I know we know how to add apps to the device, but these are some important settings you should know about as well so for the first one if you want to check for updates i know a lot of times we get a notification right here where you see a number like one or two depending on what's going on with your device but if you want to check for updates all you have to do is if you want to manually check it hit the settings all right from settings you want to go to device preference which is right here you see that right here click on device preference and then go down to a, no go to about which is right here and then you'll have system update so if you want to check and say hey man i wonder if there's an update manually you can just click it and um it'll go through the stages so it's checking for updates right now all right and it just said last successful uh check for updates at 4 39 which is my time and then you can you know you can go from there so if you want to just continue to do it you know it says your system is up to date and you go from there so you know you have the latest version there's no updates for you all right so that's how you manually check for updates even though they give you a notification right here all right the second thing this is very important too really when you start to get into uh when, when the tivo stream start to open up all right where we can tweak it using a computer and everything i want to show you how to set your device up for developers mode all right so the first thing you're going to do you're going to go to settings which is right here click settings go to device preference which is right here from there you want to go to about where we just came out of so click about all right let's go down here to where it says build all right we should have this option right here it should be shaded on your tv now if you hit your button six not like seven eight times i think it's seven but just in case if you see and you see the countdown is starting right if i click it again oops i'm hitting the wrong button sorry about that go back into settings and of course this button oh my goodness all right hit the wrong button so let me move that and again go down to the de de device preference about and so you see it down here where it says built which is right here just click it and you will see the down countdown down here all right and so now when it says it says you are now a developer all right so if you click up out of there and let's go back in or well, you click up out of it one time all right and then you go down to the bottom you should have developers options right here now all right so it should be up under your device preference and it's right here that way if you want to go in and tweak some things um turn on us um be debugging and um connect your device to the computer that's where it'll be at right there so you can do some things but you can actually put it in developers option mode all right so that's for that one and sorry for that little mishap over there now some of y'all may not know but if you go all the way over here let me make myself just a little bit smaller you got this option right here that says apps right let's go over here let's highlight it let's open it up now you notice where you got netflix sling prime all of this you know you can you see all of this but you can actually arrange to move these bad boys if you want so if you click on it you can move it you know um, you could do some things like that. So this is some little tricks that you can do if you want to move it up to the to the front. It's really up to you. So you can actually go up in here and actually do it. So if you want to move this, 
uh, you just highlight it and then you can go ahead and move it just hold your clicker and, and go ahead and move it and there you go I mean it's very very easy to do also if you want to do it another way let's hit the um, home button let's go into the settings all right that was the easy way but if you're in your settings you can go to device preference which is right there also you can go to home screen so let's go down to home screen which is right here Let's click on that and let's go down to uh, where you at reorder apps, which is right here. So if you click on reorder apps and the same thing, what we did on all apps, you could do that to here. So if you want to move this, you just you can just move it. Just hit your OK button and we can just move it. It's as simple as that. It does the same thing. It's just a, a, a another option. So if I want to put Pluto. I hold it, hit that little clicker. Let's move that bad boy up. All right, and hit the hit the clicker, the little circle enter um, button, and you should be good. That way, if you go out to the front, you come down and you go back to your all apps. Pluto is right at the top, so that's that's something you can do. Also, guys, you want to change your background. All right, when it go into standby mode, if you want to change it, you can hit the settings. All right. Go to device preference right there. Go to screen saver. So let's find screen saver, which is right here, guys. Click on screen saver. And so you see where it says backdrop. You can click that. And if you want the backdrop, if you want to uh, turn screen off, you can. Or if you want uh, the backdrop, let's say if you choose colors, if you select colors, and you can just go down here once you make your selection. If you want to see how I look, just click start now. And it'll come right up all right but say you like no nah, i don't want that you know go back in i didn't mean to come back out go back up to screen savers right here click on that and you can turn again you can turn it off or you can just select backdrop all right if you want to see how your back backdrop is it just start now and it'll go back to you know showing the mountains and everything so you can do that that's, that's a pretty cool little trick um, so let me go back. All right. Now, this is one that I think a lot of people should know. Let's go ahead and verify apps. A lot of times we put apps on here. We know the apps are good. You you know they're good, but it make you verify them. Anyway, I can show you how to turn that off. If you go into your settings, again, go into your device um, preference. Go into security and settings. Where you at? Right here. All right, so highlight security and settings. I mean, security and restrictions. <laughs> Sorry. Can't read today. Security and restrictions. Go into that, highlight it, click on it. And you see where it says right here, verify apps. When you bring some apps on, you know, that the Google store is not familiar with, it will ask you to verify them. You know, if you want to turn them off, you can. But if you want it to verify the apps to make sure everything is good for like an app you don't know it you know you can verify it so you can actually turn this option on that way it, it will verify if the app is good or not so it'll just send you a warning like hey do you really want to put this app on your device but now if you cut it off whatever app you send to it you know uh you could really if you don't know about the app you could be putting your device in a, a harmful situation where it will affect so pretty like that and then um going from there if you go up to unknown sources you can actually turn certain applications on and off so like file manager you know you use file manager so you want that option on because you may bring some other apps through so and if you don't you're gonna get that message saying uh you're gonna have to go into your settings and turn this on anyway so anytime you use any of these file managers um, like file manager uh fx another one uh who else is up in here it should be es file explorer i know i got es file explorer up in here maybe i don't but anyhow anyhow but that's how it is all right let's go with uh uh to change your screen size so uh again certain things you're going to run into um dealing with these devices so you go into um, settings, you go into um, device pre preference, 
And then that's when you go down to more. More should be all the way at the bottom. Make sure it's highlighted right there. Click on more. And then you go into display. And then you go into screen position. All right. And so this is where you can zoom out and make it 100%. Or you can, you can zoom in. Zoom in. Again, make it bigger. Zoom out means you can make that screen smaller. So just remember that. It's just a couple things you can do um, to help you along your way. All right. I usually got mine at 100, but some people do it at 95. You can do it however you want. Also, guys, let's go into um, if you notice your time is messed up. Say you move or you're in the military. You can go into settings, go into uh, device preference. And guys, right here, very important for some people because I know people move all the time. You can do date and time change. You can go down here, whatever zone you're in. You can click on there and choose the proper zone. All right, Pacific, whatever country you're in, a region you're in, you can go from there. Also, guys, if you're into military time, you can turn it off. And you can turn it off. Turn it on, you can turn it off. Either one. All right, when you turn it on, when you turn it on, you notice the time change, 1649. I couldn't tell you what it is. But when you turn it off, you know, it's... 449 so you notice that so that is a useful one and last but not least guys last but not least if you have the factory reset this bad boy this is all you got to do go into your settings all right go into your device preference all right let's go down to reset find reset make sure it's highlighted right here click on it it's going to let you know reset this will erase all data so anything you got tv mate you got some applications on here you got whatever you put on this bad boy is letting you know before you even do it google account system app settings anything once you go up and choose reset it's going to let you know one more time all right it's going to erase all your personal information and download the apps you can't reverse so once you go down here and um, highlight erase, if you click it, it is going to factory reset. That way, you know, you go ahead and you can re, um, uh, add, re add your applications. Or if you notice your device is acting funny, maybe you put an app on there that's got some malware. Factory reset will, will do everything, it will send everything back to normal. You just have to reinstall all the apps. And, set up your your iptv or whatever you have ready uh that you like to do so pretty simple like that guys um but this is just another little video i wanted to put out there uh, some people may not know where to go and um where these settings are so here you have it right here hopefully you like it if you like the video please thumbs up the video share the video also click that thumbs up guys this is just one of them videos I think you should know about, all right, when it comes to certain options and settings on your device. All right, guys, this is Superdale. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm getting ready to sign out. Salute, everyone. Be safe. Peace. <music>